All right, guys, what is up? It is Fena, and welcome to Path of Exile. I will be playing hardcore solo self found. A lot of you are wondering what the hell is Path of Exile. Just give me a second here. I'm going to make a character and I will explain myself. You to be swift and strong. Yeah, you be quiet there, mate. Slinky Jim, is it available? We squandered them on self indulgence. It is available. Slinky Jim lives. All right, dude. So what, what the hell is Path of Exile? Why am I playing this game? Why should you care? I mean, you don't have to care. That's completely up to you. But um, Path of Exile is a game that I've played a decent amount. I actually really, really like this game. But I tend not to stream it or anything like that. Um, reason being is that it's, it's a long game long grinder of a game now for most of you you might have already realized this you know it's kind of starting to play out like diablo 3 for most of you you're probably going to know diablo 2 or diablo 3 a lot better than you know path of exile so you know if you're watching this for the first time just keep that in mind i'm going to try and keep this like beginner friendly and stuff like that so that uh you guys can understand what's going on even if you uh you haven't played the game before um so anyway i'm playing this game it's an action rpg and uh basically the goal is that you play a guy a character this is me slinky jim and um the goal is basically to get through the game and get as strong as possible um and you know in my case i'm gonna try and kill as many bo bo bosses as i can um while um advancing us through as much as the game as i can now i'm playing yes, nice in um solo cell found which basically means that i will not have the capability of trading with other players um i am completely alone in this so it's all gonna be solo now i did make a solo cell found character before so i will have a bit of loot in my stash and stuff like that um so yeah um so what I'm going to be doing here is basically we're just going to be following the life of Slinky Jim. I've got one life because I'm playing in hardcore, so yeah, well. if I die, it is over. My, my life is dead. My life is dead. I'm dead forever. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to be following a guide by Lil Marty, which is um, a Cyclone Slayer guide. As you can see, I am a duelist here. And a duelist is a melee class, as you can see, he's got this sword here. Um, and you can either go into like, um, or you can't see the ascendancies on here. Basically, you get to ascend at some point, you get extra powers and stuff like that. But basically, the idea is, can I pick up anything else here? Yes. Let's see. Um, should be good with, with what I have. Um, the question is, do I want to use cleave? I do want to use cleave. So I'm going to grab cleave. I'm gonna use Cleave and Molten Strike for now. And um, we'll use Chance to Bleed. Uh, I guess we'll use that on Cleave. Um, so anyway, yeah. So the idea is that you guys are gonna follow this Slinky Jim story through the game and uh, hopefully we can get pretty far. Now I have played this game a decent amount. Now I'm not the best player in the world, not but I do think I have this. quite a bit of knowledge. So I should now. be doing okay for quite a while. Um, also, by the way, I guess I should explain the sockets and stuff that uh, I just went through. So in this game, you have skill gems, and the way that you use skills in this game, a game unlike uh, like Diablo 3, which I think you just get the skill and then put it in your skill bar, um, you basically you pick up skill gems or you get them from like a, a quest or you buy them from a vendor or something like that. And then you can socket them into items. And the way that you make skills stronger in this game um, is you can support them with other gems. So as you can see, my item, uh, give me a second here to kill these dudes. <clears throat> my, my item here, my ax, is linked with two sockets. Um, these are unlinked sockets here, so it doesn't have a link between the two. And um, that means that this gem is gonna support this gem. So now my cleave has a chance to bleed. So it makes it a little bit stronger. So that's something to keep an eye out for if uh, you don't know much about the game. But yeah, I'm gonna be following Lil Marty's Cyclone Guides, which uh, I I really respect Lil Marty. I don't know if any of you guys know him. I, I don't really know how the audience is gonna cross over here. I don't know how many of you know Path of Exile at all. 
I'm going to assume a lot of my Overwatch audience is probably not going to be interested in this series, which is one of the things that has kind of, you know, stopped me from uh, doing something like this in the past. However, I do really enjoy this game, so I really wanted to start this series and uh, diversify out a bit. So if you if you if you don't like Path of Exile, you don't like listen, you don't have to watch. Um, you can just wait for the next Overwatch video, and that's okay. Uh, but those of you who do, you can follow the story of Slinky Jim. Why did I pick the name Slinky Jim? I honestly have no idea how that name came to my mind. It was the first name that came to my mind. And I don't think there was any thought process about it. I'm just trying to think what made me think of the word slinky. And it's like, it's nothing at all. It's just like, slinky? The counter sounds pretty cool, right? Slinky Jim. Yeah, that, yeah, okay, that sounds cool. I'll go with it. All right, so picking up all the loot that I can here is obviously going to be pretty damn valuable. I'm actually surprised about my damage here. I'm using like the most basic weapons. And the reason why I'm kind of surprised is because normally... I level from scratch, but I usually have like leveling items and stuff like that because um, once you've leveled one time, you'll have a bunch of money in your stash and just go ahead and buy like loads of really good gear to level with and it's super fast. But you know, when I got like the most basic gear here, I'm just going through it. Um, so let's explain the, the skill I'm going to be using Cyclone. Now, if you guys have played, um, this is a boss by the way, I mean, technically a boss, he's the first unique in the game. Um, and he is gonna die. Seems like my cleave actually does more damage than my malt strike. Maybe not. I don't know. Very nice. Superior Copper Sword. Requires level 5. I might grab that. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna log out real quick and it'll take me back without having to use a town pole. Which is a cheeky little way to save a town portal, so that's cool. Uh, oh, we've got a chest reward here. So I'm probably going to start with Onslaught. Um, because I don't think I need anything else. And Onslaught is going to allow me to get through the game faster. So I might even connect uh, Cleave up to Onslaught here. I think we'll do that. And then um, looking for a 3 link from this guy would be nice. 3 link, what's a 3 link? So, as you can see so far, all my items are 2 links. I have 2 sockets that are linked together. A 3 link, would, like this, which is the wrong colors, would allow me to put more gems in, allowing me to get more damage from my weapons. Um, so this, for example, would be really nice. However, it kind of sucks. It's, uh... I mean, it, it's pr pretty poopy. Uh... And I'm kind of tempted to pick it up because it has really nice links. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do that and see if I've got an orbit of the transmutation. Just throw on there real quick. I do. Like I said, I've got a little bit of stuff um, from before. So I have a little bit of an advantage. So I'm going to link this bad boy up now with everything pretty much. And uh, that will allow me to go a little bit faster. So that's nice. Oh. Oh, yeah. We'll just... Uh, being lazy. Doesn't matter. I shouldn't have destroyed that, but I did. Um, both of these hats are probably going to suck. We'll put one on anyway. Do I need the mana flask? Probably do. Again, I'm kind of lazy in the early game, so you'll see me like selling stuff and, and doing stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing. But I'm, I'm kind of lazy <laughs> in the early game because like, I mean, none of this loot really matters. Maybe it matters more in Solar Cell Found. I'm not the biggest uh, Solar Cell Found player. Uh, but let's get going through that tree. I guess I should show what I'm picking on the tree. So, so far I picked up max life plus uh, percent fizz damage and then physical, increased attack physical damage again as well. So Cyclone is the skill I'm going to be using and I, I kind of cut off my sentence when I was explaining it. And Cyclone is basically, if you played Diablo type games, um, it's the skill where you spin around and you do loads of damage. So the Barbarian in Diablo 2, I think the Barbarian in Diablo 3 also had Whirlwind. It is basically Whirlwind under a different name, because obviously they didn't just want to copy the exact name, so they went with the uh, the company-friendly Cyclone. Holy damn, I am strong. I got a good feeling about this character. Um, Lil Marty is a guy who plays the game way more than me, a million times more than me. He knows his shit, 
And when you're playing Path of Exile, you kind of want to copy someone else. And the reason is because unless you know the game extremely well, especially in hardcore and even more especially in solo cell phones unless you know the like, every in and out of the game you need to know um I, you, you need to know so much to not fuck up a build uh, this is the skill tree guys look at this okay imagine you're you're a new player you don't know much about the game and this is a skill tree like you're gonna be pretty scared right and it is easy to fuck up a bit fuck up a build because on top of that skill tree you also have ascendances you have a lot of itemization, like millions of items in the game um, that you can just use and it completely changes your character. I have a phone call. I will be right back. I actually need to answer this. All right, my dudes, getting back into it. I completely forgot what my thought process was there. Um, but we're going to go kill the granddaddy crab. <laughs> So the main thing you guys are going to have to remember here um, is that if Slinky Jim dies, he's done forever. He's got one life. It is a video game, but he's only got one life. Um, I'm probably going to do some cutting like here and there because, again, it is a very grindy game. Um, there's a lot of just killing monsters and stuff like that. So, you know, just doing some cuts here and there to uh, speed it up a bit for you guys is what I'm going to do. Now, since I know like a lot of the audience watching this game is, is primarily not uh, doesn't really know anything about this game, or probably doesn't know anything about this game. Um, please let me know in the YouTube comments below if you want me to explain anything in the next video, because this is going to be a continuing series, or anything really, because I, I can easily cover it in the next episodes and, you know, get you guys on the same page with me. Since I've played this game a lot, <laughs> a lot, you don't want to know how many hours I've put into this game. Uh, Sometimes it's going to be hard for me to think again from like a new player perspective. So yeah, just let me know. All right, we're going to be throwing in our next skill points here. So I'm going to be going through here. This is going to give me a little bit more life. So a total of 8% increased life from those two nodes there. I'll probably eventually get that one as well, but I'm going to sneak down here real quick before grabbing that one, which is going to give me 1% life regen per second, 8% increased melee fizz, 2 melee weapon and unarmed range, which is super useful for Cyclone because once I get Cyclone going, it's basically increasing the AoE size. So if you imagine um, the size of my damage is going to be around my... You'll, you'll see it when I get Cyclone, but that basically there's going to be a circle around my character where I'm doing damage and weapon range and unarmed... Well, melee range in general increases that. And uh, Cyclone can be pretty poopy if you don't have a lot of AoE range. That's going to be super useful. This is Granddaddy Crab here, and he is getting fucked up. He's not having a good day. He's currently getting molten balls slammed all over his face. Not good. Do we want a large mana flask? I'll take a large mana flask. I'll also check out this because my current chest has like nothing on it. Honestly, I'm gonna throw it. Reason being, you actually get more move speed if you're not using chest armor. So that's pretty useful. And if it's not really giving me anything, I might as well just go a little bit faster. Actually, there's an essence over here. So I might check this out. Contempt. I don't know if I need that. I can't remember which one this is. Basically, essences, uh, you can drop them onto your items and um, it will give them uh, special powers. Oh, actually, seems pretty good. Two-handed weapon adds physical damage. So uh, that could be a useful a little tool to get me going here if I find some weapon that I want to stick it on. That could be pretty badass, actually. If I find another weapon that looks really nice uh, with good links and stuff, well, this is kind of okay. If I find something with really good, like a white weapon, that I can upgrade that's got really good links, and I guess I should explain the uh, the rarity system in this game real quick. So um, basically, at the heart of it, you have white bases. So the short bow would be a base item. It has only just standard statistics. It has no kind of like uh, suffixes or prefixes which give you extra abilities. For example, this leather cap here has plus a accuracy rating and 24 increased evasion rating. Um, that is a magic cap. Um, after that, you can also get yellow items, which are rare, which can have a total of 
six prefixes and suffixes. So a lot more than a magic item. So they can end up being a lot stronger. Then on top of that, there are unique items, which, uh, you know, in Diablo or something like that would be called a legendary item. Um, and those, I think, can have any number of prefixes and suffixes. I might be wrong on that. But basically, when it comes to unique items, the prefixes and suffix are preset. So um, if you get a unique item, it will always be the same. However, it will have different numeric values. So for example, if this leather hat was a unique item, it would always have, let's say it's uh, Jimmy's leather cap, and that's a unique item. And this unique item has accuracy rating and increased evasion rating. It will always have those, but um, it can roll different numbers. So it could have like between five to 10 accuracy rating and 24 to 30% uh, increased evasion rating. So even though every unique item has the same uh, prefixes and suffixes, the numeric values can change between them, meaning that you know one unique item can be better than the exact same named other unique item. I hope I explained that pretty well. Path of Exile is a pretty deep and complex game, so it can be very confusing to pick up and to explain. I got two more skill points to put in here. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. I should go uh, back to the town at some point. All right, I'm gonna put these in. So we're going down here. We get 10% increased melee fizz and master of the arena. So we get that 1% regen, fizz damage, and the melee range and strength. Strength in this game, mostly attributes are mostly just used for actually equipping items. However, however, attributes do have uh, um, pros as well. So strength does give you life. I think it's I think you get 0.5 life for every strength that you have. So uh, yeah, that's super useful. I'm gonna grab myself an ancestral protector here. Um, which is a pretty badass little totem, buddy, which you'll see soon. And then we're going to go hill cross here and get some more life. Life in hardcore is extremely useful. Extremely useful. I'm going to show you my little totem buddy now. So little totem buddy over here, um, he comes out and he smacks people for me. He's mostly going to be useful on bosses because he doesn't actually do any AOE. Air of effect, by the way. I've got to keep this super simple because I know there's going to be a lot of people from Overwatch checking this out. And they'll be like, what the hell is AoE, Fenner? Area of Effect is uh, what AoE stands for, which is basically... Um, people kind of just use that term to be like, he hits more than one target or he hits uh, targets in an area. Oh, a bunch of blue mobs. Give me that juicy EXP. Come here. Mm, mm. Oh, that's our first rare item there. And it is a chest blade, so... This could actually be useful. Since uh, I am a melee character, I'm going to be primarily looking for gear with armor on it, mostly. So this has strength, fire res, and lightning res. No life. But those reses are probably uh, going to come in useful. So as you can see, this starts with uh, two prefixes and two suffixes. So yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. Um, actually, what does my essence do for boots? Other armor. Oh, reflects fizz. That's not too great. Another pack of blue mobs, though. It's gonna give me some of that juicy EXP. Mmm. Oh, baby. I'm gonna grab that medium life blast. Uh, life blast is super important early on. They really, really help you out. Um, we've also got another skill point, which is gonna be 8% increased life and 24% increased evasion and armor. All right, so we're coming up on Kaduku. Now, there's a lot of superstition around Kaduku. Most people don't kill him because they feel like it gives them bad luck. However, me being a little bit of a badass, I'm willing to take that risk for the loot. Even though I got fuck all. I mean, I guess I could use that claw, maybe? I don't even have the intelligence to use it. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Actually, that green thing. There's a green thing, right, guys? Let me explain this to you. For the people who don't know Path of Exile very well. So this green thing is um it's an abyss and if i step on it i guess i'll do this they're kind of risky i guess i'll do it but if you step on it it basically it forms a crack and then it uh pops a hole awkward and then loads of stuff comes out of it and this is the mechanic of the league basically path of exile has seasons which is uh super cool because it keeps the game really fresh and interesting I'm going to leave this because 
It's probably gonna get me killed. <laughs> but basically, every every league has a, a new mechanic that keeps it fresh and interesting. And this mechanic is the abyss mechanic. And basically, if you pop it and chase it down and kill everything that comes out, then you get um, an extra bit of loot from a chest at the end. And it's a very like new loot that is only available in this league. Um, early on, they're a little bit risky. I'll probably take some on later on. But you can get like really nice belts from them. You can get really, really nice uh, jewels that you can put in those belts or even on your skill tree. Um, you can also get uh, league specific uniques. So they can be incredibly useful to farm. They're also really good for experience, but again, they can be a little bit risky with how strong uh, the mobs that come out of there are. Like they basically spawn like really strong unique mobs. Uh, sorry, really strong rare mobs. They can do like an insane amount of damage and it's uh, pretty scary, honestly. So I don't want to fuck with it too much because I want to take Slinky Jim all the way. <laughs> Fucking Slinky Jim. Oh my God, I got an amulet. This is a unique, guys. Usually you don't get them this early. This is actually going to be very useful. So this is 42 life, 28 fire res, and 1% life regenerated per second on low life. Um, it's, it's, it's nothing amazing. But uh, at this point of the game, it's it's pretty nice. It's going to give me a lot more strength. This is a shrine. Oh, my God. There's so many things to explain in this game. This is a shrine. Basically, if you pick it up, it gives you um, certain powers. This one, I believe, makes you crit every time. Yeah, you crit every time. So when you've got the diamond shrine, you always crit, I believe. Let's read it. Yeah, you always deal critical strikes. So that's pretty badass. Pretty badass, if I do say so myself. All right, dudes, we're into the prison, and we're going to come upon the uh, the first boss that people think is a real challenge. I shouldn't really have trouble with him, um, but we'll go and take him down. Unfortunately, I haven't actually run into, like, a weapon upgrade yet, so that kind of sucks. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one of these. Uh, it kind of sucks that it isn't linked. I'm going to buy one of these. Move out of the way, ring. Right? Now, what you can do is... Now, let me see if I can get this, this recipe correct, oh, because well. I never actually do this recipe. Oh, but what you can do is... You can basically... Um, do I want any of these? Do I want maim? Melee splash. Added fire. Probably best off with maim. Oh, well. So what you can do is, you can basically trade a weapon... Uh, with a rare rustic sash plus a blacksmith whetstone. Oh, it has to be unidentified. I'm an idiot. I think. Or I think it becomes stronger. Okay, so you get the buff anyway. If I did it with an unidentified, I think you get more. But basically, you do this trade and you get a magic version of the weapon with 62% increased physical damage, which is pretty insane. Um, especially this early on. So I'm going to get this bad boy. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, again, I am starting with a little bit of currency. It's not too much. So don't hate me for having just a little bit of currency. But I made this for my other character that sucked. And I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a, a three link on this, which I got pretty lucky on there. Um, and then we're just going to roll out. I'm going to have to check exactly what... Um, God damn it. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. I got to check exactly what um exactly what kind of gems. I I'm not gonna bother with molten strike anymore, which is extremely lazy. But uh, you know, whatever. As ideally, I should be using molten strike for bosses. We're also gonna check for movement speed boots from Tarklay here, which you should be doing every level. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any. I'll just grab those because I want to level this up because I think I might oh, well. use it later on. We will see um as for the rest of this crap i mean i guess i can use that but we'll just do a quick okay. sale and uh we'll go down and find the butcher uh do i want to keep the sapphire ring i might do actually i might just this is crazy but i'm gonna stick an open chance on there yeah i'm gonna use it because i'm probably gonna struggle on reses okay. and solar cell found so uh we'll just we'll just do that should be fine yeah, well. Again, I am playing extremely sloppily. That's fine. That's okay. That's no problem. I just want to roll through the game, you know? I want to go kill the butcher. I don't want to chop his head off. Damn, this axe is big. 
Oh, it does a lot of damage. Ooh, this is actually kind of nice. I like it. That's going to give me, like, perma onslaught there as well. Um, here is the ascendancy area. So, I might have to come back to this. But these, basically, you need to do so you can ascend later on. I'm going to skip it now because I am actually short on time here. I want to kill the butcher in this episode. Um, but I do have to stream in 20 minutes. So, I kind of just want to steamroll through the prison. Chop off the butcher's head. And, uh be happy with the progress that I've made. This is all mate Chatters here. He's gonna die. You're done, Chatters. Good night, my friends. Ooh, rare gloves. I'll be taking those. I'm out here, mate! I'm out of you, don't! No, that's the wrong way. Can't believe I've been blessed by Rakutiki, man. Rakutiki! I have this... I play this game a lot with my girlfriend, and I, I, I like to uh, troll my girlfriend a lot while we play, and I kind of made a song with Rakutiki sometime, but... I found really funny as a I, I remember how it went, dude, but it was hilarious. I just like the sound of a Rakutiki. It sounds awesome. Rakutiki! 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 So I'm actually really happy to have this amulet. It's nice. Ooh, ooh. Hey. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the butcher, don't worry, ooh. ooh. I'm gonna kill him. I'm not gonna die. I don't know if you can hear that, but Makiti is whining. Oh, another Rustic Sash. Nice. I'll uh, get that on. We should check out those gloves as well before we take on the Butcher. Uh, so, oh uh, god, here we go. Now, this is a Master. And I friggin' hate Masters, okay? Um, but basically, Masters, you want to do them. They just kind of have, like, frustrating missions. Especially this guy, Elrion. He's the biggest fuckboy in the game. But basically, he makes you defend his stupid relic for about four hours. So that you can level him up and then use him to craft. So basically, Masters, you, you meet them out on the map and then you have to do their missions. And if you do enough of their missions, then they level up and you can use them for crafting in your hideout, which... I will get at some point, and I hate doing Master's missions, but, but, I'm gonna do it for the sake of this run, because they are extremely useful, and I do want Slinky Jim, <laughs> fucking Slinky Jim, to have the best chances possible of living on, and, you know, getting through as much of the game as possible. Now, I guess I should mention, but... The build I'm going for, which is the Cyclone Slayer, it's not exactly the best boss killer in the game. Um, so I'm going to be like, I, I didn't want to just play a boss killer because I thought it'd be kind of, uh, kind of boring since I'm leveling by myself. I'm going to need to be able to clear maps really well. Now Cyclone Slayer is fantastic at clearing maps, but it does struggle a little bit with bosses. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to do them. It just means it's going to be quite risky to run into the end game bosses. So if you're looking for me to die, which I'm sure quite a few people are watching the series for my death at this point. I mean, people friggin' love rips in this game. Don't get me wrong, I friggin' love rips too, dudes. Um, there's something just satisfying about watching someone else die. I don't know what it is. I know it makes me sound like a psychopath. Maybe I am. But if you're waiting for me to die, then... Uh, it's probably going to be on a boss at some point rather than just random dudes on a map. That doesn't mean I can't die to random dudes on a map, though. It's it's highly possible that I just fuck up somewhere. Um, all right, let's level this up. So we're coming up on the butcher now. You can see his little blood trails here. That's how you know he's an evil man. And he's, you know, he's probably been butchering things. And Oh, God. He probably wants to butcher me as well. Little does he know that I just got a fancy new axe. And I also have a totem, mate. That's gonna take no shit. Okay, let's make sure we don't die. Because my, my totems here are not the best. Yeah, yeah, you just got absolutely... Ooh, that is nice. I'll be taking that. Hopefully, uh... I'm gonna pick that up as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, let's see here. I'm not sure which is actually higher damage out of these two. This 
does have higher attack speed. Um, one way we can test it is to look at the ancestral protector damage. Oh, they're about the same. I'm just going to keep this on for now. It's going to be easier. We'll check this out as well, I guess. No, that sucks. Okay, so first step is complete. The butcher is down. We're through the prisoner's gate. Everybody's happy. We've made progress. We've barely even been in trouble. And I'm going to get my ass back to town. Um, we'll see what we get in town. I think Tarkley gives you a skill point skill from this. Shot. No, he gives you... Oh, so he gives me Leap Slam which is going to be my movement ability. Um, what the hell does Nessa give me? Nothing. Wow, Nessa. Uh, where do we go here? I'm just going to have a quick look at my guide. So I'm going to be going through these two-handed nodes, which basically just increasing the damage of me with two-handed weapons. And obviously, I'm going to be using two-handed weapons, so they're going to be pretty useful for just increasing my damage. However, dudes, um, that is the first episode of Slinky Jim. Again, if you've got any questions about Path of Exile, just let me know in the comments below. I'll either answer in the comments below or I'll answer in the next video. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I've been kind of putting it off for a while um, because I know it's going to be a smaller viewer base that is interested in this. But, uh, dudes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and we'll see how far Slinky Jim can make it through. Thanks for watching, dudes. Peace, guys.